today we have access to another incredible lake home. Not only is it luxurious, but there are new ideas I've never seen before. You're gonna wanna see this. Normally we don't start in the mechanical room, but we have a very special piece of property just outside the boundary waters. We are remote and isolated. This home is entirely off-grid, powered by solar power. There's a solar panel outside, which feeds these battery banks. We're taking 48 volts of DC, sending it to this inverter, converting it to 120 AC. Outside of this room being the brains of the home, everything else is just like a normal home. All the same appliances, we've got in-floor heat, normal hot water, we've got a boiler, everything is set up for luxury living. And there's even a redundancy with a whole home generator. If you visited this home, you'd have no idea it was operating off of solar. That's why it's so cool, you can build a Golden Eagle home anywhere. There are a lot of great ideas in this home. Let's get started on the tour. This is an impressive great room space, and a lot of it's driven not only by the fireplace, but the incredible feature wall. There are 12 windows, and it has a prow shape to it. So this prow allows for you to have a 180 degree view. This is absolutely gorgeous, and it brings in a flood of natural light, really balancing the rest of the space, overflowing up into the loft, and wait till you see that up there, because we have got more incredible windows in that space. But before we get too far, Take a look at this fireplace. A lot of chases go straight up, but this one has a nice taper to it, and you're gonna see the continuation of small details like that throughout this entire home tour. Take a look at the traffic flow of this room. So if you're sitting over here, you can easily get up and walk behind the couches this way. You're not walking in front of everyone as they're looking at the fireplace or the TV. And of course, we've got great traffic flow on the backside right over here and the hallway spaces are plenty big. When you're sitting in the great room, you still wanna be able to take in that lake view, which is why we made these windows extra large. That brings them all the way down here, allowing us to not only see all the wildlife out in the woods, but also see the activity right along the shoreline. These windows have a maintenance-free aluminum clad exterior, a pre-finished wood interior, and look how nicely it blends with this hand-hewn trim. So you'll see a mixture of flat hand-hewn trim in this home as well as round peeled logs. Just next to the great room and kitchen area, we have the dining room table. Now remember what I said about the windows on that feature wall? Well, the same thing was done over here too. Just imagine if the bottom of the window had stopped about here, it'd be obstructing your view as you sit at the dining room table. So this is absolutely perfect. Now speaking of views and maximizing views as well as dining and eating, take a look at this Three Seasons room. This is incredible. Not only can we fit this large table in here, but we also have a fireplace, patio door access to a balcony. So just imagine enjoying your morning coffee while you're sitting out here. And if it's a crisp fall day, we can open up these windows. They slide down. So if you just want ventilation at the top, let's say it's raining out and you don't want any rain getting in, just open up that top panel. If it's just a beautiful day like it is today, bring them all down. Or let's say it's summertime and you don't ever want those closed, you can easily remove them. And best of all, it just opens up that view. <laughs> I think that's perfect. This of course is a day bed right here. The homeowners say they love bringing a book out here cozying up in a blanket. If I were using this space, I'd leave those screens open all the time and it would just flow all this air into the dining room and kitchen area. That's why you don't even need a screen on this patio door because that entire space is screened off. And now what many of you have been waiting for, we're in the kitchen. Take a look at this island. This is so awesome, they're eight by eight hand-hewn timbers supporting three of the edges on this massive island top. This is great for gathering around. We got seating on the other side. There's no obstruction of a sink in the middle of the island. And it's great that everything's flat, leaving plenty of working surface, whether you're prepping the evening meal 
or just laying items out for your family gathering. We've got wonderful pendant lights lighting up that island, but also great natural light coming in from above the kitchen sink. The sink is a granite composite, which pairs perfectly with this quartz countertop. Take a look at the veining in this. The gray colors blend well with the backsplash, and I just love the herringbone that was used back here. It really draws your eye up, especially when you see the main kitchen stove cooktop area. That is just absolutely impressive. The cabinets are a rustic alder in this dark mocha finish. We can see the beautiful character in the knots and the different wood grain. So it's just such great variation. And then we've got seated glass on that corner cabinet. The seated glass adds a little bit more of an antique effect, a little bit of texture and interest. You can also tell by taking a look at that door that we have a center style. And that's really the shaker aesthetic that we have on these cabinets. You'll see the continuation of that throughout the rest of the home. Take a look at the trim and how everything fits perfectly. And we've got cabinets going from wall to wall. Now we also have an absolutely gorgeous barn door right over here. So not only is this practical, a great way to separate the mudroom and drop zone area, but it also provides for beautiful wall decor. Something that makes this space extra special is we have an incredible walk-in pantry. This just goes on and on. There is so much storage and flexibility it is nicely finished off. The location of this pantry is perfect. Imagine you're preparing a meal and you quickly need something, it's right there. You don't have all these cabinet doors that you need to open up. You can easily see everything on these open shelves. Or if you're bringing in groceries, you can unload them on this kitchen island and then easily put them away where they need to be. That is ultra convenient and I think a great design idea on this floor plan. When you angle a garage, you can open up so many more possibilities with your floor plan. It created this space, which is the perfect mudroom drop zone. Take a look at this countertop. Not only is that a great height, but it allows us an incredible amount of storage. I also really like that when you come in from the door, you've got not only the drop zone here, but also a terrific bench and coat hook area with storage all around it. And then even a private closet right over here for storing all the winter jackets. Let's talk home specs. There are five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and there are three floors. Above me, we've got the loft right up there, and that is generally one of the first places that people wanna to go to when they come to visit, so let's go check that out. Take a look at the size of this space. It's got an incredible amount of volume. It allows us to fit these huge timber accent trusses up here. Those are made out of eight by eight material, and now you can really take in the incredible feature wall. Not only is that view absolutely impressive, but it offers a whole new perspective and we have something similar on the other side of the loft with four extra large windows. This is a cozy space. I don't know of anyone who says they don't like a loft and I can easily see why. Not only do we have such great light in here, but take a look at this. This is essentially an extra living room. It's a cozy space, a really large table, great for bringing out board games. And I know that kids love coming up here. It's a great secluded space for them where they're still connected into all the activities of the rest of the household, but they've got all their toys in this space as well. Now we've got two bedrooms, one on each side of the loft and a full bath. Take a look at this. This is pretty special. This looks like a very charming built-in with hand-hewn shelves, just perfect for this space. But the bottom shelf easily hinges up and we have a laundry chute. It goes all the way down to the laundry room. That is so neat. This is a beautiful bedroom. There's plenty of space. We've got two extra large sets of windows. We are now inside of a dormer and it just adds a ton of character for this space. There is also a pretty large walk-in closet right through here. Now on the other side of the home, that bedroom is nearly the same as well. So there's no arguing over who's got the better bedroom. This home features so many great details and everything was intentional about it, including this bench that was custom built for this space. The upholstery is picked out by the homeowners to match the bedding. This is a great place to grab a book or your morning coffee and take in the view. Now, interesting detail, take a look at this. Most tongue and groove is installed horizontally 
but what I can see on that back wall over there, as well as a few of these accent walls, is that it was installed at a 45 degree angle. That's pretty neat. It's a good way to draw your eye up and add a lot of interest. Now we also kind of see that similar approach when it came to the herringbone in the kitchen. We also have a herringbone in this bathroom. The tile work throughout this entire space is absolutely incredible, especially with what we see in the walk-in shower. That is gorgeous and is certainly not an ordinary shower. Now speaking of showers, you've got to see the master suite. It takes it to a whole new level. Let's head down there. You don't need to be strategic on finding the view in this home. It's nearly in every single room. Once again, very similar to the great room and dining room area. This window has been brought down lower. So even when you're laying in bed, you can see the lake. And it's just awesome. Drywall makes a lot of sense when you're incorporating timbers into your home decor because oftentimes timbers have a darker stain and finish. The drywall lightens up the space and bounces around a lot of light. Take a look at the ceiling above me. This is a great example. So the homeowners, when they came to pick out this ceiling finish at Golden Eagle, they loved that it had the hand skipped planing. They also had the nickel space gapping and a gorgeous color with many different variations in the color tone. And then they picked out the stain color for these timbers, bringing it together for a very cohesive aesthetic. There is a perfect blend throughout this entire area. Now, speaking of style and aesthetics, take a look at this master suite. You're gonna love this. Finishes carry through to the master bathroom, which features timber shelving. This was inspired by Golden Eagle's Design Center showroom. When the clients visited there, they wanted to incorporate something very similar in their home. And it also drove the inspiration for this incredible walk-in shower. Take a look at that beautiful tile work and the way that all these different textures as well as colors pair so well together. I also appreciate that there is more of a private toilet area in this space and two windows bringing in a lot of great natural light. And those two windows also balance really well with the front view of the home as you approach it from the outside. Each of these vanities feature plenty of storage area and I think it's especially important to make sure that there is room on the vanity top so that when you lay things out, they don't get too cluttered. Speaking of vanity top, it has some beautiful chipped rock edging and that carries through with a very rustic theme that we see in this home. When those mirrors were custom built, the live edge was kept on the outside profile, adding a lot more interest and character. The header features an arch top and we also see that above the walk-in shower. That carries through the same decision to do an arched valence on the range hood. Imagine most closets are usually dark, there's no window, there's not much room, everything looks cluttered. This is the complete opposite and this is what you can do when you build a brand new home. Now let's head down to the lower level. That basement is finished just as nice as it is upstairs. You're gonna wanna see that. As we make our way downstairs, I can't overlook the fact that we've got an incredible foyer area. It's very convenient to have a half bath nearby. There's a beautiful vessel sink in there, a pine live edge vanity top. That is just a gorgeous space. Also very convenient to have a coat closet right near that front door. And take a look at these half log stairs above me. There's a half log for the stringer as well as for the treads. It's pretty neat that that is all open, allowing the light to pass through. It's very interesting and dynamic with the way the light is hitting the peeling on those logs. There are two different widths of planking on the flooring in this space. And we can see the circle sawn applied to there. Very consistent with all the rustic features that we have in this home. This home has a combination of logs and timbers. Logs being that we've got the round hand peeled logs. This has that impressive flare bottom post that so many of our clients love. But there also has been the incorporation of square hand hewn timbers. We see that following the entire ceiling here, as well as these intermediary purlins that we have throughout the ceiling and our timber trim. This is about two inches thick, nearly six inches wide, and it is impressive, much better than your typical casing that you see on ordinary homes. But nothing about a Golden Eagle log and timber home is ordinary. We are below the great room and this is the prowl wall down here. That's such a great benefit of doing it above is that we also have it duplicated on this lower level and we've got a walkout on each side with these great patio doors. So this gives you quick access to the lake. 
If you need to run in, whether it's to use the restroom or if everyone's hanging out down here, you've got great overflow to this outdoor living space. We'll touch on that pretty soon. This is such a great area for entertaining. We've got a little dining room table here, a nice cozy fireplace. Even take a look at this bar. There's the hand hewning applied to these cabinets. And this is an awesome edge. This is three inches thick. <laughs> look at that chipped edge on that. That is just so cool. There's also some beautiful woodworking done right here with a beautiful epoxy finish. So just imagine you grab your pizza, you've got your drinks, and you're watching the game on the TV. That's what this is perfect for. We also have a great pool table right over here. There is a gorgeous full bathroom. Those are not regular cabinets. Those are ultra custom with a five piece drawer front carrying through with that same shaker style that we saw in the kitchen but certainly with a much more rustic finish. This is the only tub that we have in the home, but when we do tubs, we like them to be done with a tile surround. That way just the tub is an acrylic unit and then we've got tile on the rest of the walls. And this home, of course, continues with that beautiful tile work. Take a look at that wainscoting panel, bringing it up 42 inches, a great place for hooks and hanging extra towels. These hand-hewn floating shelves are gorgeous and they offer a wonderful wall accent. Let's head on over to the laundry room. A great thing about building a brand new home is that all your appliances are brand new and they work really well. There is a cast iron enamel sink, plenty of beautiful cabinetry. Now this is the only painted cabinetry that we've seen in the home and that is oftentimes a, a popular consideration in a laundry space. Now you remember that laundry chute that we saw up in the loft? Well, there was also one in the master suite and it comes down to here. Take a look at this. <laughs> How great is that for a laundry bin? Super convenient. This home has two bedrooms in the lower level, both with large windows and a lot of great natural light. And we've made our way outside with the incredible lake view, but really it's the view from the lake seeing this grand feature wall. That tall wall scaling all the way up to the ridge is so impressive. The siding on this home is an eight inch hand hewn shiplap. We are continuing with that timber trim and something special that we do is our trim is always extra thick, protruding away from the wall. We have a balcony connected to the three seasons room. Really impressive how it was wrapped with this black maintenance free material carries through with a more modern aesthetic that we see that's being paired with these rustic elements. So take a look at this, this is very special. We have many homes that are sitting aside lakes and we know that our clients prefer to be able to bring their pool toys into the house but not have to go all the way up and around to the garage. Well, this gets us access to a storage room underneath that three seasons room. And then it continues on into the mechanical room. So it's easy to access from inside the house. I feel like I'm hiking in the Rocky Mountains. This is just so neat. This is an impressive entrance. Take a look at this gable covered porch and how tall it is. Not only does it enclose those gable windows that we had seen in the loft area, but we're also able to fit in a transom above the front door. And that's just another great example of bringing everything taller in this home. There is mass in the materials and there's so much volume in the space where it's able to absorb all those different textures and larger elements. Speaking of textures, Notice that we've got stone about 42 inches tall around the base of this home. And then we've got the eight inch hand hewn log siding up in the gables. There's the maintenance free polymer shakes. So those have a gray finish, which tie in well with those carriage style doors. Also pulling in those cooler earth tones. We saw that on the inside with the flooring selections. And now we're seeing those grays carry through on the exterior as well. Speaking of grays, this decking is a maintenance free decking. We also see our maintenance free aluminum railing. So this carries through, of course, metal elements that we're seeing atop of all of these newel posts. So not only is this stylish, but it also helps protect the end grain of the top of that post. A brilliant idea. This home is a legacy home, it'll be staying in the family and it'll ensure that it'll look this good for a lifetime. Now let's continue on. We've got timber trusses up above the garage and here's what I really like about that. Imagine if this garage 
had just continued flat all the way across. It just would have been ordinary. It would have paled in comparison to this grand covered porch. But instead, a gable was incorporated, allowing for that timber accent truss to be up there, and it complements the turkey track truss that we have up on that gable porch. So I think that offers a great subtle balance and more of a supporting role for that grand front entrance. This is such an incredible home. There's so many great ideas. Comment below with your favorites and check out this playlist for more great home tours.